Hi guys. So I know right now you guys are all thinking, Nance, you're going crazy with the foiling. And I'm not going to lie, I'm obsessed with it. So I know you guys are like, okay, we bought all this foil now. We have 25 feet of foil. What are we going to do with all this foil? So I got asked this question a lot today. What else can we do with the foil? Do we have to have a mink machine? So I'm going to answer some of those questions fairly quickly in this video. So again, I'm going to be using all Creative Vision Stamps foil, which comes in these nice rolls, six inches wide by 25 feet, 25 feet of foil and a wide variety of colors. Um, she is the, the foiling queen. There's so much foil in her booth. All right. So the first method is going to be an oldie but a goodie. You're going to use your Zig two-way pen. I know all of you guys got this in your stash. So it looks like a pen. It writes like a pen. It comes out blue. And when it dries, it's clear. So you may or may not be able to see my message on there. And I have my scraps of foil here. And all you're going to do, no heat needed, is you're going to take your foil, you're going to lay it over your de design, and you're going to use these fancy tools that God gave you and burnish it in. Rub, 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 rub. Now, the secret is make sure this is completely dry. You don't want to do this when it's wet. You want to let it sit a few minutes until it turns white. And there you go. Instant foiling. Look at that. Nice and pretty. Okay, so the first way was using Zig glue pen. Put it on. Wait till it turns white or clear. And then foil right over it. Pretty simple. And the color of this foil, because I know you guys are going to ask me, is Seaside Cabana. It's like a nice teal color. Okay, so that's the first one. All right, the second one, more stuff you guys already have in your stash. Mini glue dots, score tape, red line tape, um, be creative tape. I know you guys all have this, or Suk Wang tape, whatever you want to call it. Elizabeth Craft Designs tape. So I have some tape already lined up here. It's just on regular cardstock. Same thing. I'm just going to take our foil. No heat needed. Burnish it down with these fancy tools. Pull it back. Okay, same thing down here. All right, so all I did was took some tape, put it down, glue dots. I missed a spot there, no problem. We're going to go back in, burnish it in a little more. There's another spot. Burnish it in, and we have full coverage with our foiling. Now, see that little piece there that's sticking out? No problem. We're going to take our little sand eraser. And now it's gone. And that was, I think, silver bullet foil. Sorry, blade. It's called blade. And that's just straight up metallic silver. Okay, so that's example number two. Pretty simple. All right, so here's another easy one. I took some Elizabeth Craft Designs tape. You can use this with um, full sheets. You can use it with Stick It, whatever double-sided adhesive you have. I die cut this heart with it. Simple, stuck it on a piece of paper. And again, we're going to use, you can use any of your die cuts with this. We're going to use the rainbow foil. I think it's called Pride. Same thing. Burnish it down. No heat needed. And you can use any of your existing die cuts with this. Dies, I should say. Look at that. Now, I did not 
cut that so that's not that's just me not cutting correctly there but you can see pretty rainbow foil there with using die cuts or your dies your existing dies okay I think we have two more quick methods here this one I got from um, Laura and I said to her, and she she sold out of all of this within the first two hours of the stamp show, so it must work. Um, I said to her, I don't know if this is going to work or not because it just didn't, never worked for me. But she said I wasn't doing it right, so I believe her. So what I had done before, you guys have seen my foiling videos where I use this Mink Reactive Mist. Um, my bottle's actually clogged because I haven't used it in a while. So all I did was took some of this out. Just like that and dabbed it onto my media mat here once I dabbed it onto the media mat I had enough there not too much not too little I put my little stamp in there right stamped it in I stamped it a couple times stamped it off and there's this. so I have original stamp and then stamped off you want this to completely dry you do not want any damp or wet spots with this either this is called Fool's Gold, which is like a rose gold color. Now, for this, I'm pretty sure we need to run it through the machine. Yeah, so it's not sticking there. I do have my Meek machine over here on the side warming up, so we are going to use it for this method. As soon as I can find my carrier sheet, which is right here in front of my face. And again, you can use parchment paper, you can use folded typing paper. I have carrier sheets, um, which came with my machine. I'm just pulling this double stick tape off of here. All right, so I'm going to run this through the mink. I know you guys can't see that, but trust me, it's going through. And this is, again, just mink reactive mist. Just... Before, I think the problem was I was trying to use it out of an ink pad. I've never done it straight onto a media mat, onto a stamp. So you guys are going to see these results firsthand with me. All right, it's coming out of the machine. And you don't need a mink machine. That was another question asked today. Um, their make and take demo that they were doing, they were using... Um, laminators the only thing i suggest is when you do purchase a laminator you do not need an expensive laminator you can get a laminator for um, under thirty dollars you want to look for a five milliliter and a three milliliter setting the five milliliter setting accepts the thicker plastic it also gets a little bit hotter and you want to run it through twice so instead of just running it through once like we do in the mink i would run it through flip it over run it through again if you were using a laminator the biggest difference is that a laminator um, doesn't get as hot as the mink does and I think there's a little more pressure with the mink, but believe me, you do not need to go out and spend 50 or hundred dollars on a mink. You can get a, a laminator pretty inexpensively. So you do not need anything fancy. And I gotta say, I'm very impressed. Laura, you were right. Okay. So this is the first time I stamped it. This is the second time I stamped it. And you can see the progression here as I stamped off the stamp. Um, and what it's supposed to look like and really for this style stamp it's really not that bad so I would say the second stamp or the third stamping of when I stamped it off that is pretty cool so mink reactive mist and Laura is carrying this she sold out of it today so I don't know when she's going to stock up some more but you're just going to take a little of this squirt it on your media mat rub your stamp in it stamp off on it that is so cool I like that. I like that a lot. Um, all these years I've been doing all these foiling methods and never thought about that. I always thought I had to put it in a stamp pad. So, see, I even learned something new today. Um, what you want to make sure, though, as soon as you are done stamping that, is you immediately take your stamp and clean up your media mat because this stuff will dry and it is basically glue and you want to get that cleaned up right away. All right, the last method I have for you guys, I'm hoping it's all ready. I kind of prepared it ahead of time. Um, is my favorite. So this is a Gina Marie Designs stencil that I got out of the booth today. It's got some nice butterflies. And all I did was I used texture gloss 
Texture Paste Transparent Gloss. Now, if you don't have this, Mod Podge will also work. The difference is this is a little thicker. It's a little easier to handle. The Mod Podge is a little bit thinner. But both of these will work for you. So, ran that through the stencil. Right? Must let it dry completely. So, let's see if it's dry. So this is my piece here, and you can see it's as it's drying, it's going from that milky white glue consistency to a clear consistency. It is, I'm going to say this is 90% dry. I feel like if we heat this up, it might smear a little. Let's take the chance. So my advice to you, if you want this to be perfect, I'm doing a demonstration for you guys, so I'm not going to wait for it to be completely dry. But if you were doing it, let it sit at least for an hour and let it completely dry. And this is Crystal Ballroom Foil. I love how this looks. It's gorgeous. Lots of sparkle and shine. Okay, so we're going to use our... And again, I think this is only 90% dry, not 100, so there might be some some blobs of mess that come out the side here, but let's just try it out and see how it comes out. That's because of my impatience, not because of this process not working. All right, it's going through the mink. So let me just recap while that's going through all the methods and ways you can use your foil from Creative Vision Design. So first one was using a glue pen. Just to write that out. Second way was using your glue tape and your glue dots. Right. The third way is to use your die cuts with double-sided tape. The fourth way is to use the mink mist um, with your stamps. And then the last and final way is to use your stencils and some texture paste transparent gloss. And here we go. I forgot to also tell you guys, on the die cut one, this one here, actually I'm going to show you. I'm saving that big reveal. So this one, you could actually do a full sheet of foil, right? So let's say we covered this whole thing in foil. You can actually run this through your... Um, your die cut machine or your embossing machine. So I'm gonna run this through my Gemini quick. So you can actually do full foil backgrounds with your embossing folders. So there you go. You can see how that embossed as well. Very nice. Okay, here's the final reveal. This is using texture paste transparent gloss and a stencil with our foil. And yes, we did run it through a heat machine. Oh my God, you guys. I am like so excited. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at that. That is so cool. You guys cannot even see through the camera how sparkly and pretty this is. And because you get 25 feet, you don't have to hoard it. How many of us buy pretty papers and pretty foils and we hoard it? We don't use it on anything. You don't have to hoard this. This is 25 feet of holographic, beautiful foil. And now you can use your dyes and your stencils with this. So... I hope that answers your questions. I hope it opens up your doors to what kind of things you can do with foil, not just using foilables, but a number of other things you can do. And, you know, a lot of these things I showed you, you don't even need a mink machine or a laminator, but if you have one, you just add it to your arsenal, stretching your dollar once again. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I'm going to put the subscribe down here, down below. Hit that, and if you click the bell on the homepage, it will notify you every time there's a new video posted. 
but I hope I gave you some new ideas and I will put a link below if you guys are interested in purchasing any of these products from Creative Vision Stamps. Use code NANCY10. NANCY10. That will give you 10% off of your order. Okay, guys, I love this. I, I just, I just love this. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Keep on stamping. Bye.